Alrighty, well, good afternoon, everybody. Well, once again, uh, I'm working on my Final Fantasy XIV blog post. So, and then on top of that, too, I'm feeling kind of groggy. So, I want to try to keep this video short and sweet because I definitely do need to get a nap in. So, but, um, I'm, like usual, I'm at a point where I find it easier to just uh, record and upload a video about what I'm wanting to say than having to spend all afternoon and evening typing down big old walls of text trying to trying to explain it so but uh, like usual I'm gonna have some music running in the background um yeah kind of sorry for the low res image but this is gonna be a Knights of Nivril uh their Nitronautic Nitronauts album I keep wanting to say Nitronautics for some reason but anyway let me go ahead and get that fired up it's just, uh, it's just music I had going at the time, so. But, um, what I want to go ahead and do, though, is I want to explain, uh, I kind of want to explain how Guild Wars works. Um, you get it, I think it, I think it pops up, like, once, once a month, I want to say, but, and as the name implies, um, Guild Wars, you're uh, you're taking on other guilds like uh, today. It was the War of Alorum Guild. And, uh, I guess I still gotta wait, wait for the results to come in. But this uh, this is a this is a PvP type type uh, mini game where um, you have both attack and defense. Now. The big unique thing about this uh, this game mode here is, um, as you can probably tell, it's a points based it's a point it's a points based game as well. So winning battles is important, but um, yeah. oh, how do I how do I want to put this? But you got to win the games with style as well. So yeah. it's all about the style points as well. So to do that, um. Uh, to start with, as you can see down at the bottom, using 24 different troops, basically, when you set up your defense, you know, other players are going to be attacking these groups. And kind of a side note, for those that don't know, when it comes to PvP in this game, you're not actually taking on human opponents. You're just taking on the teams that they built, and the AI takes care of the rest, and yes, we got flickering. So, but once again, um, you want to, you want to use all unique troops for this entire week, like no duplicates, and the same also goes for the weapons as well, the weapons you have in your groups, you don't want any duplicates in there either, so, and then on top of that for, like as you can see here, day one, is green day so the more green troops you have in your team the more points you'll get like i kind of i kind of did this wrong here i got brown but um yeah but in here day two was blue day so one they're all um they're all unique there's no duplicate troops in here and they're all using blue so you'll get the full points potential for this one Kind of the same thing, kind of the same thing here too. Actually, there we go. So, but again, all four unique troops and they're all using purple. So you'll get the full points potential from this as well. But I'm not gonna, and um, not gonna do any battles or anything I've already done them I went five and all today so what them all and then this option here um you can you can upgrade various stats whereas I'm not a not a big fan of it because it costs resources and then um one unique thing about this though is uh you're kind of kicking up
You're also uh, kicking up stats to your higher rank guild members. So. But yeah, let's kind of go back. So, once again, it's winning battles is important, but you gotta win them in style as well, so. Gotta get those style points. And then. And then you can see the results here. Like, Havelock, he's got a. He's got 19,000 points. He's, he's scored 19,000 over two days, won every battle. And probably like me, he was also using. He was also using the appropriate colors and troops as well. Whereas I didn't score as much for these two days because I used a troop that wasn't green. So I'm not going to score as high. Whereas I think he did. And Shaq did the same thing. It looks like 18,000. I think he did too. 18, 18. There's, there's little old me. I lost, I mean, I lost one. And once again, I had a troop in there that wasn't green for day one. So I didn't score as much. And then during today's stream, uh, DJ Screw kind of, kind of saw this as well. Erectile Reptile actually won all of his matches. But he only got 12, he only got 12,000 points because, again, he wasn't, uh, he wasn't following the, uh, requirements. And yeah, he, Dorex here had kind of a hard time of it. He only got 9k. Jail, Jair Bear Stare. As I didn't say earlier, Guild Wars is a week-long event, and I believe it occurs um, once a month, or I should say one week per month. And then um, the same thing also goes for attack as well. You want to attack? Um, I can see um. I could see you using a totally different group for attack than you would for defense. But uh, I think um, the way I've been doing these, this one might have been an exception, but the way I've been doing these is just uh, attacking with the same troops that I'm defending with. Like tomorrow, I'll probably do the, I'll probably do the same thing here, just attack with this team. Don't really want to do it here because I'll I risk messing it up. But um, I I have seen other teams that are. Let's pick these guys for example for an example. Um, these kind of troops are called guardians, and I think they were um. Uh, if I'm guessing right, these were these guys were specifically for guild war for um, defending in guild wars. Why? If the enemy uses yellow mana, deal double damage. So, this is the kind of troop that you'd want to use on yellow day. So, yeah, you'd, you'd want him in here, but... Um, but again, it's kind of the problem is, is you also have to use unique, unique troops as well. You can't have any duplicates to, you know, increase your points potential. So. Yeah, I guess while I'm here.
But yeah, during my stream, DJ Screw was helping me get some of these set up. So, so I guess while I'm here, yeah, like I said, I had a, I had a troop in here that's not red. So, so let's. a brown attack but you know but we got all, all brown and they're all unique so this one here would actually be good to go but let me see if um i don't think we made a brown one no we didn't so yeah the But, okay, uh, but I just wanted to do that. Just want to explain how Guild Wars works. So, just going to go ahead and get this video uploaded and processed and all that other good stuff. And I'll keep going on my blog post and eventually I'll definitely need to take a nap. So, but thanks for watching everybody. I appreciate that and I'll see you all next time.